My wife confessed she's gay after 10 years together. She wants to stay married, but my world came crashing down. And she hasn't really done anything wrong, but it doesn't make it hurt any less. She's my best friend. We had slash have such a wonderful, supportive relationship, and we've been through so fucking much together. I can't stand the thought of losing her and starting over. She said she doesn't want to leave me, that she still wants a future with me, just without the sex. But she also understands how unfair that is to me, so she's fine with me finding a fuck buddy or two if I want it. All I really want is her though. I'm so insanely attracted to her, and I make sure to tell her so every day. She's the sexiest woman in the world to me, but finding out that attraction is one-sided has obviously shattered my heart and crippled my self-esteem. I don't know what to do. I'm certain most of the comments I get will be along the lines of move on, or the classic lawyer up, start hitting the gym, but I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. I'm praying she's going to wake up and realize she made a mistake, that she's just overwhelmed and confused. Deep down I know that's not how this works, but the wounds are still so fresh I'm grasping at any little straws of hope I can find. We don't have any kids, all our pets have passed away, but we did just move into a new house last week, so we may be stuck together until next March at least. I just want my wife back. Update. One year later. Hola Reddit. Long time no talk. I figured it was about time to update y'all on the roller coaster that has been the last year of my life. Allow me to start with a few apologies. Sorry for the jumbled mess that was my original post, I was a mess at that time and apologies to everyone that reached out that I didn't get back to. There were a lot of you, and it became too much to continue replying with the same answers over and over. I appreciate every one of you that reached out with kind words, and those that shared their similar experiences. One year ago today. I woke up and got out of bed blissfully unaware of the fact that my life was about to completely crumble around me. That morning I found my wife on our back patio, clearly in distress. So obviously I put on my best husband hat, and went to figure out what the issue was. I assumed it was something work related, but I was very wrong. While fighting back tears, she manages to tell me that she's a lesbian and she's so very sorry. I'll never forget the feeling of the world closing in on me, as the most intense fear, panic, confusion and grief began to set in. Initially she said she wasn't going to leave me, that we could do couples therapy and figure out a path forward together. Of course I agreed. Three days after receiving that news, I was informed by my mother that my stepdad was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. Three days after that, I was told by my father that my stepmom was also diagnosed with skin cancer. Thankfully my stepmom had surgery, and is cancer free but my stepdad wasn't as fortunate, and he passed away last November. He was a wonderful funny, kind successful and impressive man and I miss him a lot. Having all of these things hit me within a week caused me to completely spiral out of control. I refrained from going to work, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep, I merely existed. I became one with my couch and distracted myself with hockey podcasts and weed. My wife did her best to be there for me but she was obviously going through her own turmoil, and she retreated into her own world physically and emotionally. For a bit of backstory, she had spent her life with crippling anxiety and the mere thought of a tough causation was enough to cause her to break down crying. Cross her to break down crying. Dunfintas, Paulatilin. But months prior to all this, she had begun taking anti anxiety meds, so now she was finally able to communicate to me, not only that she was gay, but all the other times I had let her down. Ten years worth of moments I had been inconsiderate or insufficient as a partner. Nina as a partner. A as a partner. I always thought we had communicated well, but apparently that was more one sided. And I had always thought I did a wonderful job as a husband. I tried to be attentive, thoughtful, caring, and compassionate. I was never abusive or cheated. We rarely fought, and when we did we always ended up talking it out like adults. I thought I was doing a great job, but I wasn't doing the thing she needed out of a partner. But since she never communicated it to me, how was I to know? Hearing about all these little moments that I had let her down hurt like a like a, but it also gave me a light at the end of the tunnel. The mission. Their mission. Save marriage. I couldn't do anything about her being gay, but I could damn sure make up for every instance of neglect. I put together a plan to prove to her, I was worth staying with. I surprised her with a picnic got us tickets to the circus, made a reservation at a restaurant for the first time in my life, and took her for her favorite kind of food. I began learning French, she's French-Canadian, I took the lead on planning our next big vacation. I started writing her a song. I was going to give her her guitar lessons since she had expressed interest in the past. I spent every minute of every day for the next two months figuring out ways to show her just how much she meant to me. She was also able to confess that she wanted children. We had agreed early on that kids weren't on the table, but she had a change of heart, and for her I would have absolutely done it, and I told her so numerous times. In May, she left the country for a girl's trip to the Dominican. It had been planned for at least a year. We agreed to go minimal contact during the week-long trip, so she could get her head straight and really figure out what she wanted. We actually hooked up the day before she left, and it was the first time in two months I felt like everything was actually going to be okay. But the day she came home, she officially ended our marriage. Now one of the toughest parts of this situation was we had just moved into a big new house with a few roommates on March 1st. Neither of us could afford to have her just move out right away. It would have screwed ourselves and our roomies over financially. We live in Vancouver, and it's bloody expensive here. So we figured out a system of sharing the room. There were even times where we would still share the bed, but it eventually became too painful. So I renovated the large shed in our backyard with a futon, air conditioning, and a TV and basically lived in it all summer. She began dating someone so as time went on, she was gone more and more until she had basically moved out but continued to pay rent. During these months so many people close to me went through tragedies too. One of my closest friends lost his mom to cancer. A good friend from high school lost his wife to cancer too. 
I had known her through work and got to see them begin their relationship, get married, and have a beautiful daughter only for it to end so unbelievably tragically, and mere weeks before my stepdad's passing. Another family member's longtime partner chose to end his life. The amount of grief I felt for myself, and those close to me was unbearable. Unfathomable. So much loss in such a short period of time. Every day for months I thought about ending it all, but kept going mostly because I couldn't do that to my parents. For all the bad that took place, there was actually some good. I quit my toxic but well-paying job in May due to being so overwhelmed, and their lack of sympathy towards my situation, and that lead me to find an absolute dream job a few months later. Now I work as the quality control guy for a large music retailer's guitar department. I get to play test and fix guitars every day, and it's a dream come true. We improvised a 30 seconds commercial, submitted it, and out of 80 plus entries, we won $10,000 in nationwide play. My ex-wife actually saw our commercial play on the big screen before a movie once. I started a stupid Y channel with a good friend doing dumb reaction videos. The Christmas prior to my wife coming out, she had bought me the Blu-ray box set of the entire Dragon Ball Z series, and somehow we managed to watch all of it. Before, during and after the split, I'm quite proud of that for us. And finally last November I met someone really special. We've been officially dating since New Year's Day. She's absolutely wonderful, beautiful, intelligent, successful and an insanely talented artist. She's inspired me to start painting, and I've inspired her to take up guitar. We've been helping each other heal and enjoy life again. My ex and I are on good terms. We still care about one another, and only want the best for each other. She was there when we saw my stepdad for the last time. She and my mom are still friendly, which honestly makes me really happy, and she officially moved out on March 1st of this year. It's been a wild ride. From breaking down and bawling my eyes out 10 times a day, to where I am now. With the best job I've ever had, and a fun promising new relationship. I truly didn't think I'd make it through but I have.